Camp. Give Camp is geeks giving back. It's uh, geeks getting together uh, here. Uh, the Ann Arbor one, we get together at the Washington Community College, which has been a fantastic host. Uh, and we spend Friday night to Saturday, uh, Sunday afternoon. Um, working on creating whatever software we're able to create for the, uh, for the charity. So sometimes that's as simple as a new website, sometimes that is a, uh, a custom registration. We, last year we did uh, two different pet tracking uh, systems for uh, uh, animal shelters. So uh, it's good to give back. Uh, Redbeard Press is essentially uh, a limited run uh, publishing company driven by the youth of Ann Arbor. So we are helping them out, getting a, a brand new website. They have no web presence at all, uh, so we're getting them online for the first time. We are working for a, uh, a nonprofit called Hope, Hope Clinic International in the country of Nicaragua, which is uh, the the first or second most impoverished country in South and or Central America. Well, it's actually this whole the Western Hemisphere. Okay. Second poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. That's it. Um, there's all uh, healthcare. Obviously, is is a concern down there. So, um, what this organization does is uh, not only provides direct healthcare in the form of clinics and sending uh, physicians down to man clinics and um, and volunteers on on trips to kind of um, give free health care to the, the residents down there, but they also work with local doctors in, the, in there to teach them modern techniques um, and, and uh, to, to staff or, not, or to supply a clinic or a hospital with a surgical suite to do some um, surgeries that, that are commonly known here or to correct a common uh, congenitive disorder that's found in that country. Uh, we are putting together a .NET Nuke um, based brochureware site to replace their existing site. Well, I'm working on a site for a group called Action by Presence. Um, essentially what they do is they're trying to help change people's mind about the homeless. So they uh, take people on what they call street retreats where you go for a day or up to four days where you live on the streets of Detroit <laughs> and uh, they go in groups of three, four, five, you know, however many people can come and make it um, and they use it as a way to uh, support the homeless as well as to uh, help other people who are like to understand them and actually, you know, make a difference when they go back to their, their normal lives and their normal jobs. They don't have a website, so we're building a website. Um, some of the, the cool features are we uh, are giving them an event calendar so that you can just go online and see, oh, um, they have a street retreat uh, this Saturday, so I'm going to head over there and go to the street retreat. Um, they also do uh, community dinners, which are kind of like soup kitchens. Um, and so you can sign up to volunteer for their soup kitchens and kind of get into their volunteer database. So that's kind of what we're working on. Um, and it's actually live right now. If you go to actionbypresence.com, you will see the site as is. Um, right now, I'm just building um, a logo for them for the Park Ridge Community Center. They wanted to revamp it because the one that they had was nothing but clip art. So I'm working on that. We're also doing color schemes. And I'm also working for Clio, and I'm going to be doing a logo design for them as well. They have an Aztec sun, and I'm going to redo that one too, because that was also clip art. Predominantly, we help with medical expenses. Um, when the pet parents can't pay, we also um, cover a lot of spades and neuters. We have a temporary pet food pantry to families in need and a small foster so care program. We're an all-volunteer organization, right, so and we've been a 501c3 since 1973. Um, we serve basically all of Genesee County. We're located in the Flint area. They are incredible. All these guys are just absolutely incredible. They're helping us build a website from scratch, um, and it's uh, it's looking awesome. We've got a lot of the content in already, and uh, well, I can't wait to see the, the finished default. product. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a hard time listening to you, so turn over. Uh, so uh, we have uh, rotating header images. We have uh, contact forms um, set up. I'm going to go through and I'm going to finish adding the rest of the forms that they wanted added. Um, and then uh, after that, I'm just going to put it in the yes content so that they can go and replace it with the content they really want. Um, and then uh, it's done. I'm going to go home and go to bed. I'm going to come in around 11. And then I'm going to teach them how to use the software. 
We're okay. still optimizing images. Yeah. Okay. Manchester Cooperative Preschool. Three and four year old preschool. Preschool for three and four year olds. Actually, basic website. Talks about their program, tells about their teacher. There's some forms and some uh, documents for parents. Uh, calendar of events, contact information. Hmm. I would change it to index and, and then just have fix in the organ. So they're going to go slash request slash three. I'm sure there's a Jedi This three is going to be the organ. So the, the controller needs to pull up the org information based on that ID. Reels, reels, so I would work on that piece first. For real reels, there's like... It is going exceedingly well. Exceeded my expectations. How many charities you got? Twelve. How many developers and designers? And, I don't know. Well, how many volunteers? Four. I think we have about 40. We're good. My Good role camp. is to support, help out, make sure stuff happens here. Finding that the stuff that's most helpful is the stuff that's maybe mundane. But keeping people fed, caffeinated, and uh, providing sounding boards for some troubleshooting is uh, seems to be most welcomed and provides a uh, it's the most universal way to help make things go round. You sound tired. Yes, I sound what time very is it? tired. What time is it? It's way past my bedtime. Uh, she wrapped up the logo. Um, and Tamika, she's helping us with uh, filling on con she's creating content and we're gonna start filling that in pretty soon here. And I'm going through navigation, the modules that are already installed and have cleaning that up a bit and then uh, uh, Navi should be here soon so I'll get the stuff to do and then Laura will be here later. No blocking issues. Fantastic. Um, what was your uh, ETA? Um, the ETA, uh, it, it's, it's based I, I think right now on, on the design and layout but I think uh, end of day definitely. Okay. Awesome. Um, got a New guy came in and uh, looking for work, and uh, oh, our projects are actually rolling along pretty well. Um, so I, I did my usual thing and uh, hijacked it from wonderpuzzle.com again. Um, we, uh, I've done this two two out of the three years. I've been able to hijack a team to uh, to work on Wonder Puzzle, so I'm all excited. <laughs> my role is to make sure that there is not stoppage of work and that everybody gets all the design things they need out of it, and to make sure that the clients are getting the best look and feel that they can out of the site and, and, and that we're designing and developing for them and to make sure that everything uh, kind of flows nicely and it is actually which has been really cool. I have been wireframing um, site layouts and designs right now I'm working on a logo um, uh, and a historic timeline type of thing for one of the sites for one of the folks here um, you know, one of the things I'm also responsible for is to make sure all the color schemes are working properly so that they uh, really make the content uh, come alive and everything like that. So I've been working with teams to do that and, and uh, layouts and things like that. So it's been pretty fun so far. We've uh, come up with some really neat uh, materials, so hopefully you'll be able to see some of that, you know, towards the end of this. I'm doing the Leslie Science and Nature Center. Uh, this is actually a continuation of last year. They uh, got a website to accept um, reservation requests from school groups, Girl Scouts, any kind of group that wants to come and, and use their facilities or have them come to them. And uh, they had a larger wish list than Give Camp 2009 could deliver, and so we're just uh, continuing on with, with more features, making it a little bit better site. There's three of us last night, uh, lost two of them early this morning. They're <laughs> supposed to be back uh, one around noon, the other maybe two. I haven't left.
I must know. <laughs> and uh, I forgot to sleep too. Uh, Hope Clinic International. So, yeah, yeah. What do you guys do? What do we do? We um, work in Nicaragua, Central America to provide basic health care and surgical care to children and mothers. Hmm. What's this project? Uh, we're hoping for a professionally designed website so that we can Ooh, help people design, yeah. <laughs> help people know what it is we do and to get involved and to help us to you know, save women and children and uh, provide life-saving surgery and medical care. Um, I know where all the introverts went in the world. <laughs> They're building. Uh, skyscrapers, but in cyberspace. <laughs> um, so, walking issues? No walking issues. Okay. What technology? Wind form. That's right. That's right. You guys are wind form. Um, did you guys get the SQL Server thing figured out? Yeah. Fantastic. Um, that's why we do the standards. I am working on Action by Pilgrim's website, and since I have no geek skills whatsoever, I'm helping with their copywriting. I'm Karen, and okay. I'm the front end coder styler for uh, the Action by Presence website. And Julia is just she's rewriting copy, making it sound more um, user friendly. It's very much in um, lawyeries and nonprofits. Nonprofits right now, and needed to be in web speak, so she's working on that. We're progressing. We're doing okay. Getting there. Um, we, uh, we're basically running errands, doing tasks, like setting up lunch, lunch. Like, give me an example. Errands, tasks, like what? Um, getting water, mountain dew, M&Ms. Keeping busy? Yep. Yeah. Having fun? Yeah. You writing any code? Mm. Or Betsy, Betsy, one of the, Betsy. One of the um, um, you got sour cream, sour cream chocolate, chocolate Kahlua it fudge. It 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 That's like yeah. vanilla yeah. with raspberry. Um, vanilla yeah. and vanilla. I, I work well with chocolate and vanilla. No, no, no. I, like no. <laughs> I just picked them up. I don't What's with the cupcakes? What's with the cupcakes? Well, you guys need sugar to keep it out. I know, we've hardly had any sugar for the last all night. Days. <laughs> How are these cupcakes? Oh, they're pretty yummy. What do you got there? What kind is it? This is what? Sour cream? Or, um, chocolate sour cream? Or? Uh -huh. These are from Betsy. Mm-hmm. Yummy, yummy. What's on top of it? I don't know. This little sugary... Oh, exactly. I think it was a tent. Yeah. Uh, like a camp? Yep. Like a give camp? Spark up. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened to yours, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, <laughs> which, which one did you have? Oh, yeah. We're uh, designing a logo for Talking Proper. Oh. Okay. And we're delving into Morse code, which nobody wants to know why we're doing <laughs> What is it? Oh, Morse code? What does that we're, do trying to rep we're trying to represent text without actually using text. And so we wanted it to be kind of a symbolic thing in a talk balloon. And so we're using Morse code. But we're actually spelling something out. And we're trying to make sure it will work and still fit with the design. And so we're not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> I'll know it when I read it. Because <laughs> the idea is the other person can't understand it. We do youth programs for kids, adults, seniors. We are. Uh, do events in the community. We're in Washington, all County, Ypsilanti, on uh, Armstrong, 591 Armstrong, Ypsilanti Community Center. Been around since 1943. So we're just an active part of the community, help the people in the community, the youth, kids, the programming, classes, and uh, there's a lot more. Uh, they're helping us put together a website. It's coming along real good. I'm really excited about the site that we have. Uh, the site is looking real good. Uh, this is fun, exciting event. I think it's going to push a lot of, uh, more youth and uh, more people in the community when they see this website. I think it's going to just people in the neighborhood are going to be excited about it. I'm excited about it. All right, so this is the third Ann Arbor Give Camp. Um, uh, what'd you guys think? Yeah.
already has the big sissy. So. <laughs> so I can't put into words um, just how grateful I am and, and how amazing these guys are the talent. I had no idea it would take so much work from the babies, but holy smokes. I'm excited. Uh, I know Tom, my dad, excited. And this team, I don't know about the other teams, but this is like the most amazing team. team. <laughs> As I told you, we uh, one of the things we do is uh, medical missions to Nicaragua, Central America, and I feel like I've been on a mission team this weekend. <laughs> and it was the same kind of experience. It was one of, um, you don't get any sleep. It's very intense. You work with these people really hard. At some point, you cry because you think you're never going to get done, <laughs> and it's never going to happen, and, um, and it did. And I, I you know, I just, it's the same kind of experience of working with people who are volunteering their time and they're giving their heart um, and it's making a difference for people and in their lives. So just thank you a lot. But you know, I was talking to this, this girl today, she had checked out the website, one of, the, one of, my, one of our students, and you know, she, uh, she was trying to wrap her head around like these people that I don't know are willing to come in and they care about our little press and our books, you know? I mean, it's, uh, and they work through the night and, and Jay was here all night, Friday, like all of them. I mean, it's like midnight, last night, you know, it's really amazing to me. And I, I, like I said, this, this event is, is spectacular. And I can't wait to tell other nonprofits and other groups about this and, uh, and try to come and help in some way. All right, thank you guys very much for making this an amazing event. Bye.